Hey guys, Carla Nicole, not going to be long. Listen, I just got off work, so I'm going to keep this very, very short. So for those of you that don't know me, I'm Carla Nicole, I'm a wisdom coach. And um, I've posted a couple of things that I think not just the women, but the men need to pay attention to as well. So I hope everybody is doing wonderful. But I do want to give you guys something that's key when it comes to submission in relationships. A lot of gentlemen, hey Steve, a lot of gentlemen that I'm talking to, um, we've been discussing kind of about the submission topic. It's pretty hot, you know, a lot of people want to talk about submission. But I want to get some clarity about it because I don't think people really understand it, you know. Um, for those women or goddesses that are more or less frustrated by having to submit to a man, a lot of times they're aggravated by the word submit itself. So I want to break down something so it can kind of help women to get a little more friendlier with the word submission. Okay, and then I also want to get clarity to gentlemen or men. Hey, Arkany, men that um, seem to find themselves, hey, Roy, seem to find themselves frustrated by the word submission. Why are you frustrated with the word, ladies? Let's talk about it because, you know, I'm a wisdom coach and I'm always going to bring that unique perspective and I'm going to talk about why we are frustrated with that word. So, first of all, um, to the contrary, I think a lot of times we're talking about why we are frustrated by the word submission. The reason why a lot of women, because I believe since the woman's rights acts and the desire for women to be um, acknowledged as um, having their own mind, having their own path, having their own visions, desires, and dreams, um, I think it has frustrated many women to feel as though they are less than when they have to submit to a man in a relationship. And so a lot of women, when they hear the word alone, you don't even have to say a lot. You can just say, I, and I haven't even titled this, 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 uh, I haven't even titled this yet, but I plan to. So I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more views because a lot of women are very furious with the word submission. But anyway, the whole point of the word submission um, has a lot of women very uncomfortable, very aggravated by the word. And the reason there, there's a word um, misunderstanding is because of women's rights. Women have been um, frustrated by the lack of of appreciation, of acknowledgement for their advancement in life, okay? So because of that, a lot of times women are frustrated by the word submission because they feel as though if I'm submitting to a man, then that means I'm a weaker sex in the relationship, number one. Number two, that means I must obey what the man says. And number three, I have less um, impact in the relationship, okay? That's number one. Number two, <laughs> so I'm going to touch on the gentleman for a minute. Number two, men are very frustrated by the fact that a lot of women are um, really celebrating the word independence. I'm independent. I'm an independent woman. Where are all the independent women at? Da, 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 da. And, um, you know, independent women are usually by, them, by their damn self and there's no man around, right? So. Um, Although all the single ladies song by Beyonce is kind of ironic. She was doing all that singing about single women, but yet she went home to Jay-Z. We'll leave that alone, but you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, <laughs> let me just say that men are frustrated by the word submission and why women are not um, receiving that word very well, nor are they receiving the um, understanding of submission as well. So I'm going to give you two parts to this, okay? Because gentlemen are frustrated and women are frustrated. But understand, if you look at the symbol yin and yang, look at the symbol, they have equal 
impact. Period. The impact is equal. There's no better than worse. There's no better, I'm sorry, there's no better or worse. It just is. It takes two <laughs> to create a beautiful child, to create a mission, to create um, fabulosity in life. So as though we are so aggravated by the word submission, let me put you up on game. So first I'm going to start with y'all ladies. So y'all are frustrated, right, about the word submission. Well, first of all, if you're frustrated by that word, obviously you don't understand what it means. Submission means that you are subpart to the mission. I'm going to say it again. Make sure y'all share this and tag your friends. You are subpart to the mission, ladies. So as you're aggravated and agitated and upset that I don't want to submit to no man and all this other stuff, you are losing the whole point of what submission means. It means you are subpart to the mission, which means you are a part of the mission that you jointly share in mindset and in purpose. Okay? So that is very powerful. I want y'all to share this and I want y'all to get this in y'all's mind. It's not that you're less than. It's not that you have to be obedient to your man. It don't got a fuck thing to do with that. Take that to the bank and cash it. When you are submissive in a relationship, you are submissive to the mission at hand. Okay? Y'all ladies got that? Any any argument? Anybody want to argue with me about that? Because if y'all want to argue with me about that, then we'll have to have another conversation. Because really, that's what the hell it is. You are a part of the mission in subpart to the mission. Okay? Capiche? Now, for the men, y'all know I love y'all. Y'all are my biggest followers, and I love all of you. Here's the thing, baby boys. So, y'all are very responsible for knowing the mission. So, if you want a woman to submit to you, you must know what she's submitting to. So what that means is, gents, beautiful, handsome men, all of my gods and all of my kings and all of my gentlemen out here watching me, um, I need y'all to get y'all's missions in line. What is a mission? A mission means I have a vision and an understanding of what my life's purpose is. That requires you to have self love and self-understanding and clarity about what you want in your life and what you see. A woman, when she comes into your life or women, depending on your lifestyle, okay, depending on y'all's lifestyle, because I know y'all get on me about, well, I ain't always just one. Okay. Well, even if it's many, gentlemen, uh, a woman needs to know what she's signing up for. What's your mission, gentlemen? What are you telling this woman to be a part of, gentlemen? You want a woman to submit, but you don't really know the vision or the mission. What and how is she supposed to submit to you? I'm just asking, gentlemen. I'm trying to bring it clear out here because a lot of people are frustrated by the word submission and men are thinking well if i put you up on me you know you're gonna have to submit to me okay boo bae my love my joy my boo what am i submitting to what is the mission i am going to be sub part of lovely handsome gorgeous smart intelligent man what am I submitting to? Okay. Am I, am I, are y'all getting this? Because I'm just trying to make sure I'm clear. 
So nobody's saying that one is worse than the other, nor is one saying one is better than the other. It is together. You both have an impact on the mission getting accomplished while you're here in the living. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Can we get this together? So submission, lovelies, handsomes, my booze, my bays, my hearts that always compliment and love on me. Listen, I love all you gentlemen, but I need y'all to get this. If you want a woman to submit to you, she's got to have something to submit to. So men, you want a woman to be all on y'all and loving on you and being with you and all of that fun, awesome stuff y'all like, well, you got to give a woman an understanding of what she's submitting to. Am I making sense? Capiche? I'm just saying. It can't be yin without the yang, baby. It can't be yang without the yin. But again, we got to know what we're supposed to be doing together. What are we doing together? I ain't got no problem with submitting to a fine gorgeous hot sexy man that's got a mission because guess what it ain't about his looks it's about what he's talking about what 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 am i submitting to what what is what's the mission bae boo my love what am i submitting to you gotta give me something to submit to bae or it's hard for me to submit to it capiche Okay, now you guys remember, I had a whole conversation to the ladies not too long ago about riding in that boat of love and not contributing shit, but their good looks and their great, lovely, juicy yannis that you guys love so much. And I told those ladies, listen, ladies, you got to do more to come with that. What else are you coming with? But now I have to put y'all gentlemen on game. If you want a woman to submit to you, baby boy, you better have something that she's submitting to. Okay? All right. Damien has a good point. He says, um, some men can't even share their mission without hearing that the man is controlling. Okay, so we're going to talk on that, Damien. You want to bring that up? We're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about that. So, again, ladies, um, it's, it's not easy. For us to um, submit, nor do we really understand what submission is. And where Damien is pointing out that a lot of times women, we don't really um, understand the mission because it's hard for us to grasp, um, you know, a man being the headhunter, the the one that's really moving and putting in motion the mission, right? So let's talk about that. Come on, we're going to talk. I Listen, I, I don't have no, I have nothing but time, okay? So we're going to talk about that. So again, Damien, great point. Ladies do have an issue with control. Let's talk about it. Come on. You know, I ain't got no problem with being upfront and honest about some shit because I can be that chick because I am a headhunter. I'm somebody that's big about making moves and being intentional about things and making sure things are in in place um but again when you're in a union sometimes when it comes down to understanding your mate understanding your lover understanding the man you decided you're gonna commit to and submit to because you have a mission to submit to you My love, my ladies, my goddesses, you must understand sometimes there's going to be, there's going to be some weight thrown around in making decisions when it comes to making this mission come to life. Again, it doesn't mean you're less than decisions that's being made to help the mission to get, um, to become to fruition or to become into, um, life. It sometimes requires us as women to sit back and heed what a man is saying. I know it's not always easy, right? Not always easy for us to listen to what a man has to say. But let me tell you something. If that man that you are sitting before and has laid out 
his mission to you and ask that you be a part, sub part to this mission, understand he's going to be a heavy hitter, honey. Men that know the mission, um, they have a clear vision of what they want to do. Um, and where we as women mess up is we try to take over the mission and we try to run things and that's not our place. See, here's the other problem that I think a lot of us ladies seem to mess up. We often feel like, you know, um, we're not important. If the mission was initiated by him or he is the driver of the mission, um, then we feel as though, you know, we should be the ones making the moves, doing what's necessary. And not always is that the case. Um, our missions. Now, let me understand. Now, I want to I want to uh, make sure that I point this out, that um, if you are gentlemen, this is for you guys. This is for you. Men. OK, you uh, may decide to um indoctrinate or bring in a woman in your life that you want to um help you with your mission right and she's driven she's the shit you know she knows what she's doing she's all about it she's in all in um what i want y'all to understand is if a woman is going to be a heavy hitter when it comes to your mission most likely she's going to have her own okay does that mean she is going to take away from yours? No. A real woman can handle both. <laughs> Listen, I'm just telling y'all. We can multitask if you got a woman that's a heavy hitter, that she has her own shit. Oh no, she can she can handle both. It ain't it ain't nothing but a chicken wing. Trust me. But you also have to understand that a woman that's coming to the table that you feel confident in sharing your mission with. And let me tell you something, ladies, I talked, I told y'all before that most of the time, um, Men don't share their mission of what they want to do with just any random side chick or any random chick he's sleeping with. This is a woman that he sees as someone that has a serious value and that he sees as somebody. Tell me, men, if I'm wrong. But if he sees some value in you and he thinks that you can help bring life to the mission he's trying to create, you're a very special woman. Trust me. Trust me. You're very special. So with that said, um, submission isn't a bad thing. Honey, listen, you can be submission all, I mean, in a submissive space with your lover and it does not make you weaker than, than him. It makes you, it makes you very powerful, believe it or not. Give me a second. I'm trying to get this charger up. So I wanted to, I wanted to explain why it's important that we don't lose sight at the power of submission. Okay. So there is a power of submission and it is very vital and important. Um, so again, he made a very valid point that sometimes we can be controlling and that's a part of it. I understand that we are very controlling. And once we see some advancement in the mission, we are going to get more involved that's the challenge of it men is that women that are are advanced and and, and wanting to add to the mission she's gonna be all up in kool-aid <laughs> it's what it is baby boy she's going to be in your kool-aid all up in it okay it is what it is so understand that's not a bad thing though because sometimes you gentlemen, you guide y'all handsome gentlemen and the ones that really want to do what y'all want to do, understand, baby boy. Um, us ladies love all of that, but we also understand that it requires for us to be just as involved because we need to know how to help you push the mission. Okay, again, remember I said, Submission does not mean you are weaker. Hey, Charles, submission does not mean you are a weaker link in the union that you have in the relationship. Submission means you are sub part to the mission. Okay, so you are a part of it. 
But first of all, goddesses, beauties, my loves, you have to understand the mission. You have to get it. You also have to be like basically in agreement with putting forth the effort to making it happen. I hope I'm making this easy to understand because I'm seeing a bunch of conversations about submission and a bunch of people aggravated by the word. Oh, I just don't want to be submitted. I mean, I can't just be submitted to a man. Really? It's not about him. It's about the mission. You just happen to have the man to go with it. <laughs> Listen, ladies, I just, I'm just trying to help y'all out. Gentlemen, I'm trying to help y'all out. If y'all want, if y'all want a woman to help you with your mission, you got to show a woman what the fuck the mission is. What is she submitting to? Once you show her, like earlier when Damien said, well, our struggle is sometimes she's controlling. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's common amongst women. We're going to want to be all up in the Kool-Aid. It's what it is. It's just what it is. Doesn't make it right or wrong. It just makes it difficult sometimes. But if she really loves the mission and get this men, take this to the bank and cash it. And I'm just telling you one on one, you may not understand this or even understand why it's so important that you get this part. But let me put you up on game with something. You want that woman to commit and submit to you? Mm -mm. You're going about this all wrong. All wrong. You want that woman to commit and submit to the mission. Woo, you better take this to the bank. Y'all better take that to the bank. I'm going to say it one more time. Men, you don't want that woman to commit and submit to you. You want her to commit and submit to the mission. Let me explain why. When she gets an attitude with you, when y'all are in disagreement, when you get all in your feelings and she's all in hers and y'all are aggravated with each other, listen to me. Take this to the bank, people. Listen. She won't want anything to do with you. But a woman in love with that mission and understanding that mission, she's not going to destroy it. She's going to do every damn thing she can to make sure it happens. And with that said, mad and pissed off at you or not, it's going to get done. It's going to get done. Regardless. She ain't in love with you like that. That can shift. That can change. You can get on her nerves. You can piss her off. You can mess around on her. You can do a lot. But damn it, when it comes to getting that mission done, and, and 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 to birth no matter how she feels about your ass what matters is how she feels about the mission man listen i'm giving y'all jewels right here y'all better share this y'all better share this because y'all brothers don't want to listen either sometimes i'm telling y'all some facts you don't want that woman committed to you you want her to commit to the mission and wait a minute ladies Y'all want that man committed to you? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You want him committed to the mission. And listen to me. Let, me. let me tell you something else. What's so powerful about this? Once you both commit to the mission, your joint commission to each other, limitless. Limitless. The love affair and all of that changes everything. Hands down. Whether you're mad, pissed off, angry, frustrated, disappointed, all of those emotions don't mean a fuck thing because y'all have a certain thing that both of y'all understand. This mission right here must get, must get done and completed. And with that commitment to that, are we committed to each other? Because whether I like you or not, we're going to get this done. Period. Point blank. So again, make sure y'all share this. When you understand the mission, men first, when y'all understand y'all's purpose, y'all's mission, and what y'all need to do, 
you can convey and express that to your lady or ladies so they know what they are signing up for and what they are committing to. So now, guess what, men? Why y'all all all frustrated and uptight about why a woman doesn't want to commit to you? Because you asking her to commit to you and submit to you. Ask her to submit to the mission, and that ain't going to be no problem. Listen, if y'all are mad at me, I just, listen, I just love on y'all guys and y'all women. I'm looking out for y'all. Listen, that's what the fuck it is. When you take the person out of the whole drama of it and you start to look at it for what it is and you understand the mission has very little to do with you, with her, but everything to do with the mission at hand and getting done and brought to life. So guess what? Lovelies, the mission that you have jointly understanding a joint understanding of both of you understand we got shit to do to make this shit happen the intimacy is now on another level the love affair is now more more joyful because now guess what i love not just you i love not just myself i love our mission together and what we're jointly here to do And with that comes so much more joy because now the pressure ain't on about me being submissive about how, well, am I submitting to a man? Is is she submitting to me? Why ain't this woman submitting to me? Because it's not about the submission to you. Ladies, it's not about you having to submit to a man. It is about the mission. Once we take Understand. See, this is why I love words so much. This is why words are all over my house. I got words everywhere. Matter of fact, there's words right here. Look. Inhale. Listen, look at that. Inhale confidence. Exhale doubt. I got words everywhere in my house. Everywhere. Okay? So I'm explaining to you why it's important to understand the words. We're saying words and we're getting aggravated by them. We get attitudes about them without really understanding that word ain't do nothing to you. You just have a different understanding. But now that I've given everybody that's on here understanding what submission means, it's a whole nother energy, is it not? Please let me know. Do you feel a little different about submission now? You don't have no issue with telling the lady, well, I don't really need you to submit to me. But listen, here's my mission. Can you submit to this? Can you commit to this? Can you commit to that? See, and you know what? When you do this, no matter how many wrinkles you get, no matter if you get a pot belly or not, no matter if you get an attitude or not, no matter if you mess up and have a, have a whole affair or not, no matter if you make a mistake or not, guess what? She is still committed to the mission, even if you break up. Or not. That woman is still committed to the mission because you both have a clear understanding and understanding of what you're here to do. Changes everything. See what I'm saying? Changes everything. So now the whole misunderstanding about submission that's got people in a frenzy doing all these podcasts and videos about submission These people are in a rut. These people are frustrated. There's so many women out here that don't want to be bothered with men because I don't want to submit to no man. Like, do you even understand what you're saying? Do you know what submission is? That means you are a part of the mission that you both are here on the planet to accomplish if you are with the right partner if you guys have a joint understanding and a joint love for the mission then it is no problem to submit to the mission and commit to it either man listen i'm trying to help y'all a lot of times people get frustrated because i'd be trying to keep it a buck but i'm also trying to help people to understand submission is a beautiful thing hey steph Submission is a beautiful thing because guess what? When you are a part of that mission and you're making that you're making that mission come to life, that's a whole nother energy, honey. You think you had great sex before the mission, honey? You don't know. You have no idea. 
You think that you had a great relationship before the mission? You have no idea. Let me tell you something. And I'm out of here because I really went over the time that I planned to stay on here. Let me tell y'all something. Stop letting other people dictate how you feel about something. Start paying attention to other things outside of what other people are telling you it is. Sometimes we have to sit down and pay attention to things that we may not understand, which means we sometimes have to sit down and say, hold on. Submission means what again? Well, submission, because so many people are so caught up. And remember, if you can remember, there was a lot going on with the um, I think it was uh, the 50 shades of gray. Right. And people had all kinds of all kinds of eccentric, crazy sexual disobedience and then crazy sexual submission and all this stuff so all people understand submission to mean is that it means sexual dominance over a submissive person that's all people can remember so if you tell a woman after you've been in a relationship with her hey girl i want you submitted to me she's gonna be like do what Oh no, honey. I have I pay my own stuff. I got my own no oh no, you're not gonna tell me that I'm gonna be submit and so it just shifts people into this ugly because they really don't understand what submission means. Because submission in porn and submission in S and M and submission in those type of dynamics means a whole different uh, means a whole different thing. But submission right here that I'm talking about means you are sub part of a mission that both of you jointly understand and jointly are in in desire to do for each other. So again, come on, Roy, you know you like me to talk more than once <laughs> for the people in the back, right? So submission means you are sub part to the mission. You both jointly have investment in the mission you are committed to seeing that mission come to fruition you are committed to the mission being brought out and now it's not about being submission submittive to submissive to the person but rather submissive to the purpose of the mission make sure y'all share this video i'm, I'm telling you because i'm giving y'all straight facts we have to stop being frustrated about the word, rather understanding that, yes, there are submiss submission to S&M. And that's a sexual thing, a sexual domination. Yes, that's true. But that is not the only thing around the word submission. You are subpart to a joint mission to help it come to life. Okay? Make sure y'all share this. Tag your friends. Help them to understand you are not less than, ladies, as a woman. You are not less than because you are submissive to the mission, honey. Because you are submission. I mean, in submission, should submission, you are just as great in that relationship as he is. Because you are yin and yang. The symbol, yin and yang. You are equal part in the mission to come to fruition. Okay? So understand that. I want y'all to stop getting all caught up in only seeing submission to be wrapped around domination sexually. That is not true. When it comes to real, true love affairs and commitments and, and submission in relationships to get a mission to come to fruition in life, there is a true submission on both parts. And that man, like I said, y'all men have to know what you're asking a woman to submit, submit to. Come on, men. You all man. I know, I know a lot of men say, I'm all man. And she got to submit to me. No, she needs to be submitting to the mission because she might not like you tomorrow. She might not like you at the end of this evening. If she finds out what you did wrong and no, you didn't, and you didn't pick up the groceries and I asked you to do this, I asked you to do that. A woman's going to get frustrated with a man. I don't care how fine he is or how hot he is or how strong and sexually dominant he is. A woman ain't going to, after a while, she's like, shit, I sexed you so, so many times. You're cute and all, but shit, you get on my nerves. I mean, that's just what it is. So at the end of the day, if I'm not committed to the mission, but I'm more committed to him, I'm going to find myself easier to pull out of the mission. 
easier to walk away from the mission, easier to let go of the mission. But when I commit to the mission, whether I'm with you or not, I'm not leaving. <laughs> whether I'm pissed off or not. Tell them, baby Britain, whether I'm happy or not, angry with you or not, disappointed in you or not. I'm not going nowhere because I understand the power of the mission at hand between us two has to be done. Mad or not, angry or not, frustrated or not, hurt or not, pissed off or not, sad or not. Listen, I'm just trying to tell y'all, man. Submission is not a bad thing, ladies. Stop listening to the damn news. Stop paying attention to stop paying attention to these ladies telling you it's wrong to submit. Submission is nothing wrong with it. Matter of fact, if something's going to really get positively done and handled on this planet, we need us to be submission to submissive to these to these missions here. And if a man that you're attracted to and love you and you love him and you want to see some things happen, when he tells you his vision and expresses to you how important the vision, the vision and mission is, then it's important as a woman in his life to sit back and say, oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. You cute and sexy and all. Wait a minute. Let me let me see. Can I commit to the mission? Now, ladies. <laughs> We're going to talk about this because, you know, ladies, when we get upset and frustrated and we we want our due diligence and we want to hear is he faithful or not. Listen here, when you are told and I got this spiritual mission, this spiritual uh, message not too long ago, probably about three or four years ago. God told me you ain't here to be submitting to a man. You here to submit to the damn mission, not a man. I said, oh, oh shit. Why did you tell me this earlier? Hell, I'm a beast when it comes to committing to a mission. Shit, you you already know what it is. It's not even hard for me. Oh, you mean I ain't got to check no emails or nothing? I ain't got to check a man's phone and, and, and see where he's at? Shit, come on with it. I got this. I can commit to that. That's easy. Simple. Easy as pie, babe. Let's do this. But, you know, uh, if you're talking about me committing to a man, I, that might be that might be a little bit more difficult because now I got to. Oh, well, is he going to do right? Is it going to be nice? Is he going to be honest? And, come on now, ladies, you know what it is. It's easy as hell for us to commit, but it's hard as hell when it comes down to committing to a man that may not be so perfect like like we want them to be like on the soap operas and shit where they're just per picture perfect. Real men ain't like that. They got some flaws and things they're going to disappoint you and all kinds of shit. When I was told spiritually, your ass has to commit to the mission is a whole different understanding. Oh, well, shit. I got this. That's easy. That's easy. All right. I can do that. That's easy. And if he comes with it, well, damn, let's go. <laughs> shit. Let's do it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm trying to put y'all up a game with something. Because a lot of times we get all frustrated about shit and we don't even know what we're mad about. We get mad. I don't know how many women are mad about the word submission and really don't know why. They're just frustrated all up in their feelings about submission. As soon as you say the word submission, women are like, oh, oh, oh my God, I can't, oh. It's like, what is wrong with you? Oh, I can't, I, oh. I'm an independent woman. Okay, I get it. Obviously, you don't know what submission in a relationship means, do you? Listen, I'm out of here, guys. I'm doing a lot of dramatics, but I'm just trying to keep y'all up. Understand, man. Y'all got to share this video. We have to understand that when it comes down to it, it comes down to a sitting down and understanding that missions require for there to be a commitment to them. And understanding the mission helps the understanding in the, the relationship, partnership, love relationship, poly, open, whatever kind of style you're in, this could help you to understand how the mission will get accomplished. I don't care what style, I told y'all before, I don't care what style of relationship you're in. It's about functionality and it's about how the relationship is functional and working to its best ability. But when you understand, when you understand the mission, it makes it so easy. 
It does. It makes it makes it so easy when we sit down and we talk about certain things we want in relationships and we understand how powerful we are once we have an understanding. Once we have an understanding of what I, once we have an understanding of what the relationship is. By that I mean the reality is powerful relationships are more powerful when there's a clear understanding of what the joint mission is, what we're here to accomplish, you and I, or you and the others. Um, when that when that understanding is crystal clear, it, it 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 changes everything. I hope y'all get this message, man. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys share this video, tag your friends, tag your tag your you know people that are really struggling with understanding because I think again. A lot of people think submission means obedience or being submissive to a dominant person. And that is what has so many people aggravated by the word. But when you understand that you are subpart to a mission, it changes the way you feel about the word. And, it, and you begin to appreciate, oh, that's what it means. Changes everything. You know, as a wisdom coach, I'm always going to come with a unique perspective with a twist of wisdom. That's what I do. I'm not going to give you something that everybody else is telling you. I'm always going to give you something to make you think, oh, I never saw it that way. Because if I change your mind and help you open up your thinking, guess what that does? That means that now you can now pass this on to somebody you care about or want to help to get in a better place and um, help heal these relationships out here, if that makes sense. All right, guys, so I'm out of here. I have my grandson because my daughter is moving. So got a lot going on. But I wanted to make sure I talked about this submission part because so many relationships and so many podcasts and so many people are talking about submission. But I don't think they're hitting why submission is so important. And it doesn't mean that one sex or person in the relationship is less than. It means you both have equal importance and both of you can bring the mission to life all right guys i'm out of here make sure you share this video it's carla nicole i'm signing off best kept bye guys Mwah.